Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Hellblade 2. Alright, so we fought the Draugr, and we freed this guy whose name we don't know yet. Hi, yep. And now we're taking Who the trip to him. God knows where. My name is Fargrimer. I come from a settlement nearby. Fargrimer, okay. I came here to seek help. He almost died. You he phrased like I'd fallen to the Draugr. And to something else. I walked into a massacre. What was that? And they took me as well. But he was not like Why the were you bound to that pole? What were the Draugr doing? I'm calling to the creature, drawing her forth with her. thunder and wrath. The creature called through death. And I was an offering. A tiger. But why? Why were they calling it? It killed them. Are we safe now? I seem to worship her. He seems too calm. What if she comes back? A dark heart seems to speak to their own. I mean, only all gods have left these lands, so... We should leave as well. Oh, we find new ones where we can. This land is cursed, Senua. We will only find death. Everyone is dying, and you know they will blame you. Everyone does. We do. What are you going to do? What can we do? Follow him. I need to return home to my people. Go with him. He can help you. If you come with me, I will offer you what help I can. But I have to warn you, the creature stalks my village. Ah, ill tiger. We can offer you refuge for a time, but not safety. You've seen her before? Oh. They have no hope. To my cost. To everyone's cost. She haunts this they land have lost from here everything. to my village in Red Hills. Hmm. If so a boss battle, is it? Will find us. We will find her. Maybe you can find her somewhere. Hey, I know you're going that way, but there's a fork in the road here, so I'm just gonna check out. We'll just we'll meet again in the middle, okay? Aha, you see? Didn't come here for nothing. Story time! The Skolds say that Grettir fought and killed the Droiger Glamour. But not before Glamour had cursed him. His strength would be turned against him. His deeds bring death and exile. And he would be always before Grettir's eyes, making him afraid to be alone. He saw all sorts of phantoms wherever he looked. And thus, people who see things that aren't there are said to have glamour's eyes. Okay. Well, I may not have glamour's eyes, but I'll tell you what, I have glamorous eyes. <coughs> Yes, they're very pretty. Okay. <coughs> Did you see that shit? He was sitting here. He was sitting on this stone waiting for us. That's cool. He didn't just stand there idle. He, like, actually took a minute to rest. So well, you're from Orkner hours. by your accent. How did you come here? As a slave. I have the slave master tied down there. He brought you here. The master. That Maybe slave master is probably going to be dead when we get back. We don't know his Who name. Thorkistr? Do now. I didn't ask his name. Thorkistr of Borkavirki. There. We need to go there. He knows. He knows. You know it? Can you tell me how to get there? Can you yes. tell me Why how you to get go there? How to get okay. to Sesame Worse. Street. You need to go there, Sedworth. Don't doubt. Don't be a coward. He can help you. He will show you the way. You don't need that monster. What was the name? Thorgester. Thorgester oh, of, of Ikikaka, whatever he said. Oh, what a 
What a terrible thing this is. The Drago were always savage. This is worse than I ever thought possible. I believed that with time, we could claw back our land. He wished that, but he didn't believe it. He has no hope. Well, this gets yeah. darker. Bloodier with each day that passes. Yeah, this aftermath he looks like help. Viking straight up went she through here. He did. She cannot help. She has a mission. Let her think. Look, that monster Thorgester is still there. Still alive. What are you going to do, Senua? Wow. You know what to do. We don't need him anymore. What do you want to do about him? Nothing. Leave him. I don't need him. You can tell me where I need to go. He cares about him. But if you leave him, he will die. Draugar. Or simply starvation. Don't doubt, Senua. If Draugar took him, Both of those no less than he deserves. Help me. She is weak. Don't feel pity. He doesn't deserve it. <sighs> she cannot do it. Something I mean, about him. I kind of She's agree with the voices this time. This guy's an asshole She's and he deserves really death. Right. Frankly. There is no choice. So stupid. I guess we're he taking the high road. Stupid. She is saving him. That monster. I wound looks bad, Thorgister. I don't want to talk. And if you accept my hospitality, I can have it treated. You will not make it far alone. I will come with you. But this changes nothing. Not expect any gratitude from me or my father. How could I? You still haven't told me what she is, Iltaiga. So many questions. Who She's a giant. They awaken at sundown. Iltaiga. A giant. A cursed land. But now she has help. Fagrima knows this. Land. Many have tried to fight them, but all have failed. They're immortal. Maybe the gods can kill them, but there are no gods in these lands. The giants they hide by day and hunt at night. You may think, well, at least there's some respite by day. But know this, the nights grow longer. And come winter, there is no day, just endless night. Soon the time of man will end. Wow, this scenery is beautiful. Even if it is a little, you know. This place. What is this place? Dead. My settlement. In pain. I let my people Broken. here. Promise them a new life. He called this home. An escape from the madness and misery across the sea. For some time we were happy. Like us. We were happy. Until him. Well, then there. Volcano and the darkness came. A monster started enslaving people. It Tiger stalks my settlement when night falls. It's hard to get commentary in on this game because all the because there's so much dialogue and I don't want to interrupt it with the story and all that. Uh, so I'm just gonna pause real quick to say I just want to point out that the comparison between this game. And the first Hellblade, to me, so far, is feeling a lot like the comparisons between Plague Tale Innocence and Plague Tale Requiem, in the sense that, so the first Hellblade was a lot more uh, tight corridors, claustrophobic, uh, horror-focused, you know, um, and more of an isolated experience, right? Um, f same for the first Plague Tale, sands a couple moments where you party up with other kids, uh, other, other, you know, here merry band of rebels, um, but then Hellblade Two so far seems to be much more, uh, like a bigger experience. Like we're in much more big open areas, like where we are now. We have traveling companions. Um, you know, there is a lot. There's a heavier action focus. You know, uh, there's more NPCs uh, around overall. So that just kind of feels like the same thing with Plague Tale Requiem that they did. You know, same exact thing. Uh, bigger, more open, you know, more action-y, stuff like that. 
So it's kind of interesting, and Hellblade and Plague Tale both fall under a category that's known as AA games, which is somewhere in between indie and AAA. Technically, they're basically like indie games developed with a AAA budget, and that's why they call them AA games, because they're not quite huge blockbuster hits, but they're not quite indies either. You know, they're right there in the middle. And um, so it makes sense that both of them, both being AA games, would follow a similar evolution formula. I just think that's an interesting coincidence and uh, thought I should point it out. Okay. Tramples our crops and kills what little livestock we've left. We're starving. Why don't you leave? <laughs> we've tried. They failed. No matter how far we get by day, as night falls, he hunts us down. And there are children here. People too weak to run are trapped. As cool as this area is, this is also an night example. Night on night, our numbers fall. He is asking you to help. No, he isn't. They need you. I'll be right back. They I'm are looking dead for lore. If they don't fight back. This looks like a dead end that has a lore post in it somewhere. Bet you anything, there's one over here. I'm probably wrong. Shit, I was wrong. No, wait, a hidden face. There might be a hidden face over here. Remember the hidden faces with the trees behind them? Oh, come on, there's gotta be something. Aha! Yeah, this area doesn't just exist for no reason. Wow, I've missed two of those. I really need to pay more away, attention. They say the winds are trapped inside the earth. They try always to make their escape. And they buffet and beat on the walls of their prison, causing the earth to quiver. And when they break through, they make their escape. They explode out in fury. <clears throat> Whose bright ass, dumbass idea was it to spell Buffett and Buffet the same? While we're at it, whose dumbass idea was it to spell Reed and Red the same? Or Lead and Lead? No, wait, that's not true. Yeah, yes, it is. Depends on the type of lead you're talking about. Lead, L E A D, as in leading people, but L E A D, lead, as in lead poisoning, I believe. And then there's L E D, which means that you did the past tense of leading, you led someone. English is fucking stupid. That's coming from someone who's a bit of a grammar stickler. Okay, where did those two go? Oh, they're all the way over there. Okay, cool. All right, gentlemen, give me a second to explore a tape because now I'm gonna go up here because this is also, or no, wait, this is the way I came from. Never mind. that's the hill from which we descended. So actually, I'm gonna go over this in the yonder way. Look, can you see them, Senor? Cracks, cracks in the ground. The land is broken. Okay. Made them. She did this. The giants they hunt at night. The sun. It's oh, down. she's a giant. She's okay. Coming. The light is fading. Be careful. Another dead end. There's got to be. Aha! Another face. This one I saw. God, that's so fucking weird and cool. That screws with my eyes a little bit, the way that it just blurs out of existence. I know it's meant to fuck with you, because everything in this game is, but holy hell. You will really think you're going nuts when you play this. Across the sea, they know that the Earth is carried in the arms of a giant. When he is vexed or injured, he may not carry his burden so gently. And the world will feel his anger and pain. All I know is that these trees are really pretty and trippy in the in the face of everything else around here. 
very tie-dye-ish. Oh, there's a lore stone. There's a lore pull over here too. It's a two-for-one sale. Hey, up! The scalds tell how, in the time of Grettir's kinsman Thorgrim, there was a terrible famine. No crops could be grown, and the fish fled the nets. It lasted years, and the people were desperate. There was no respite even in spring, since terrible gales from the north would rise up and set in for weeks. This is a cold and unforgiving land, Sinoa. Okily dokily then. <clears throat> God, there's even more over this way. Like I said, I'll be with you gentlemen momentarily. I just, okay. There's nothing over here. Or is there? No. Okay, I think the game is telling me now that I can finally move on. <laughs> Birdies! Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something in here, I bet. It lets me go this way for a reason. No, nope, no, nope, it's just a circle around. Nothing over here? I mean, I did already find three collectibles in this area. I'm Maybe I'm getting a little greedy. Oh, wait, there's a squeezy spot. Although, I don't know if this is like... Area I could have gotten to anyways. And... Yeah, yeah, I'm just going in circles. Okay, all right, enough tomfoolery. We are moving forward. I've already missed a bunch anyways, so I might as well just, you know, I'm trying to be as thorough as possible. But some of these cutscenes where it's or some of these. There are some moments where it feels like I sh I shouldn't be walking away from the other characters. You know what I mean? Gods. I just miss stuff because it's cinematic. What a ruin! Where is everyone? On the rocks. High. Safe. Rito, I can't reach them. You should have joined us when we offered you the chance. There is no honor in the path you've chosen. Say that again, old man, and I'll cut you like a fish. Thorgester, have a look around you. Have a thought as to who your real enemy is. What does he mean, who is the real enemy? The giants the are giants. the enemy. Yeah. No honor. He said there was no honor in the enslaver's path. Which path did he choose? This place... He chose the path of being a slaver. <laughs> That's the problem. No honor on this motherfucker. I wish I could hit him again. She can see the thread that binds the world, can feel its hidden pulse, and knows when that pulse quickens. Yeah, there are a few things worse someone can be she than a slave. She a tremor on her skin, a being taking shape. Who the fuck told you to stop Something moving? Something is coming. Let's go. Guys, what are we stopping for? Seriously? You were waiting on me to trigger the next cutscene. Got it. God, I do hate that I have to play the the graphically worse version of this game because I only have the Series S. I mean, I'm glad I'm able to play it at all, but Jesus Christ, look at the blurriness and the jaggies around the characters on this. She brings the rage. She's coming back. It's coming. Wait. Iltoiga. Iltoiga. She 
destroyed and she will destroy again. The character models are very smudgy. This is the reason I played FF7 Rebirth on graphics. You need to run. Because run, run. Run. she's here. Okay. Let's go. Get to the hills! Get out of here! Is it a chase beam? We're being chased by a giant. Chased by a living earthquake. When you think about it. Oh, hey. Mixed, mixed with a volcano, apparently. Suddenly we're in an episode of Attack on Titan. She can see into you. We are monster. She a monster. She is suffering like you. We can see her. She knows you. What the fuck? He is helping us. Go! You saved him, remember? Yes, he saved me. Stop thinking. Hide, sir! She will not spare you again. Go! She's coming back! Okay, that bitch is creepy. way she contorts her body. There are some wills so strong they dream a new world. A hell of their own creation. And they will not sit lonely in that nightmare. If you wake the dreamer, does the nightmare die? Hey, that was an interesting, if you wake the dreamer, does the nightmare die? Hey, hey, um, I like that line. I like that a lot. Explain. What is happening, Eltoiga? Who is she? So when the volcano erupted, it tore open the wall between this world now and this Yurtenheim. world suffers too. The giants came flooding from the east, killing and eating More whomever they could lay their hands on. And now some of us, we hide. You have to fight, not hide. Make defenses, struggle on. And some of us use others to stem the tides. Others? What do you mean? Tell, tell her, Thorgestur. Tell me, tell me. Shall I tell her what your father's been doing? What else is there to do, Fagrimmer? We found a way to keep our people safe. He is part of it too, he believes. Your people are dying. Yes, there is no other way. Tell us, tell us. What are they doing? 
The Gorde of Borkovichki is using slaves. Slaves from your lands. Sacrifices. Sacrifice. He's offering them to the giants so that his people will be left. This is innocent people. Evil. This stops now. He's a monster. You can't stand alone against us. You have no giants. He does not see, but he can see. His darkness is evil. We can show him. He's a monster. There is another way. There is always another way. Hildega has your mark now. If you try to leave the Red Hills, he will hunt and kill you. No. Then I will kill her first. She, she can't be killed. It's impossible. I have killed a god, Fagrima. Yeah, we killed Hela in the first game. Nothing is impossible. No. There is no way. He is right. We cannot kill the giant. The gods cannot be killed. You can't. You deserve this. Why did you come here, Senua? To stop the slavers. You thought you were helping them. And now you are stranded. Stay. You can't stop them. You can't kill the giant. This robed figure, demon in our head, fucking. I will. Xehanort's heartless the giant. from Kingdom Hearts One, over here talking about some. You do not yet know what lies beyond the door. You can't kill the giant. All right, I'm not. I told you so. I'm not you playing your mind game, Shadow Man. So I will find a way. No. There is no way. I will always be here to remind you to know your place. To stop you getting ideas into your head. Is this what it was like for Riku fighting against his own inner darkness and in chain of memories? Light to banish the darkness. I'm sorry, the light to banish the darkness. Am I being chased by something? Or do I just die if I spend too much time in the dark? Oh, no, wait, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. This is like those puzzles in the first game where you had to look at something through a doorway in order to make the scenery change, right? Like, there would be a wall there, and then suddenly you would you would look, you would look at that wall through a doorway, and the wall wouldn't be there anymore. Then you walk through that doorway, and that takes care of it for you, you know? I don't know if I'm... Oh, I had to actually grab it. Okay, that makes sense. <sighs> makes a lot more sense. It is not so easy to banish me, child. You can't beat me down anymore. I can suppress you, though. I can suppress the fuck out of you. Don't you see, idiot? You can't hurt me. You will submit to me. Die here. I won't let you stop me. You will never What's... find your way through this nightmare. What's going on in the real world right now? You're always blinded by like... your madness, your curse. Like, how does she look? 
how does she look to the others? You will never save them. You can't even save yourself. Sacrifice. Burning flesh and spilling blood fill the skies with smoke. A torch. You can't do anything without your torch. Trapped here now. Their Think. Dragon sets us free. I, uh. Was that supposed to happen? No, that wasn't supposed to happen, okay. I won't let you stop me. There has okay. to be a way out. So don't let the red thing get you. Nope, not that way. Okay, this might be right. No evil you red will thing. Never be free, never safe, unless you heed my words. You can't hurt me. I carry the light. Well. He kind of just proved that wrong a minute Light ago when we ran into him and he killed us. Light can be killed. The darkness is all that persists. Your only constant. There is no way out. There is always a way. No. You will see. An abyss you can't crawl out of. What the fuck was that? Can't ah, Jesus! Off. And I will be You must do as I say, or you will anger the dead. The gods must be placated, or it will suffer. I kind of believe that. If you know your Norse mythology, the Norse gods are assholes. Like, big old stinky assholes. Use you? Oh. So she's still being haunted by the memories of her abusive father. And, okay. It's the self esteem issues and doubt that he gave her by being such a piece of shit, horrible person. And that's still sticking with her now. And that's it's where a lot of to give up, child. her mental health Leave issues come from land. is the childhood trauma. What from you did her... to me, I see yeah. it here. Yeah. They are cowed like I was, lost like I was, believing what they're told. Sacrifices, spilling blood for a lie. <sighs> Um, am I supposed to light this on fire? Oh shit, this is gonna- this is gonna end up being a memory of our mom being burned alive at the stake again, I bet. He's doing this to screw with us. That was his fault, if I remember correctly, from the flashbacks in the first game. 
It was our father who had our mother burned alive because he thought she was a witch. Sacrifice. Because of her mental health stuff. It is the way of the gods. Oh, it's us. It's mother us. sins. And was sacrificed. Yep. And the people prospered. Until you came back. Bringing sin with you. The gods cannot be killed. All we can do is blacking them. Slake the thirst with blood and fire. So human sacrifice is what it takes to placate the gods. I see your darkness now. I see through your lies. And I will show them how to see as I do. I will not appease your gods. I will destroy them. That's right, you tell them. Face your own inner demons. He and tried heal. to hold you down in the darkness. The darkness told you there was no way out. That the gods ruled you. But you fought back. You were strong. Maybe you can fight back now. She can fight back. She can. Maybe there is a way to pull through. There is always a way to pull through the darkness. The darkness. To kill the giant. She will find a way. She is strong. You are powerful. She is stronger than this. You can kill their gods. She knows the truth. She sees it now. Tell him. You are wrong, Fagrimer. The giants, they can be killed. <laughs> there is a way. Well, I'm not sure I believe that. Well, I guess but we'll I find out, won't we? find a way, it's you. He knows we are special. Before, when I rescued you, he, he said you. you were waiting for me. He felt us coming, but I'd never met you. How can he see inside well, you? I knew someone would come. Somebody different. You are different. Somebody with the ability to look at the world and see what might be. You are special. Now what is? She's not special. And that is you. She's just like the others. No, she's I've special. I've seen listening to the voices that we cannot hear. To the Varadir and Gandir. Voices? How does he know about us? You have the ability to see behind the veil. You are a Selkona, a seer. Whether you know it yet or not. A seer? What is this he speaks of? Do you know, Senwa? Do you know this is you? Iltoiga. Where does she go when the sun is up? She brings suffering to everyone. A monster. She hides down there. Hiding. Waiting. Under the cover of the cliff. She's there most days. Just staying close. These people live in waiting fear. Waiting for us to slip. Constant fear. They are waiting but to die. You can approach you down there in the shadows. You don't stand a chance. And she won't come out until it's night. You have to do something. This is why you have been called here, Senua. They shouldn't live in fear. He knows. Listen. So to him. we're going to lead a bunch of people into war against the giants. Is that what we're doing here? We are the chosen one, and all that nonsense. Have you heard of the Hidden Folk? Hidden Folk? The Hidden Folk? Yeah. Have you heard of them? A secret people, powerful, aloof. Once they were gods or something like, but now they hide themselves in the earth. Even the giants steer clear. Okay. The giants fear them. If the giants fear them, they must hold the key to them. They hold the secret. Will they help are us? We, are we going to recruit them to well, our cause, like Aragorn and the ghosts? They have no love for men. Ah. Uh, Whatever ties we have are weaved from heartbreak and despair. Well, like Aowen, I am oh, no man. I did consume so, their bitter bread. He has found them. Just once. So it is they not did impossible. Grab me what I saw it. If he can find them, you can find but them. They will. They will test you. We have been tested. They might even before. try to kill you. But if you win their favor, we might die. They might give you what you seek. Where can I find them? They will give us what we seek. There's a rock. Close to here. Where they are said to live. Its entrance is hidden. You might find it. She will find it. They want you to. You will. I will find it. We might die down there. No. We could die trying to find them. 
They will give us what we seek. They are dangerous. But they will help us. We will make them. Make them. They know you know, it's... They can see things. They can hear things. They are the ones that pulled us here. They are the feeling that brought us here. They will save everyone from death. They will show you how to end the giants. They will save you. But be careful. No more sacrifices. Be careful, Senwa. This stops now. Yes, yes. It's crazy because when you first start playing this, the voices in the head in her head really kind of get to you when you're wearing headphones and stuff. But the more you play it, the more used to the voices you get and the more it just becomes a normal part of the experience. And that, I think, is also genius in metaphorical terms. Um, but anyways, that'll be it for this episode. Sounds like in the next one, we're going to go find help to go after the giants. I'm very interested. It definitely feels like they're digging a lot harder into the like the Norse mythology aspect of things in this one. Whereas the first one, I mean, you had Fenrir, you had Hela and all that, you know, and so on and so forth. But they were really like, uh, I thought they were supposed to be like stand-in metaphors, you know, and most of the, the first game was just about like Senua's journey in the first place. But this one seems to be going all out like lore building, world expanding type of stuff. So as sequels seem to do these days. So anyways, that'll be it for this episode. Let me know what you think of this and the game so far in the comments down below if you enjoyed the button or video. Wow. If you enjoyed the video, remember to click that like button. Yes. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly in another day, definitely in another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.